welcome students in the organic chemistry lecture series in this uh, video we are going to see the example of tartaric acid how to convert a fischer projection form of tartaric acid into its sawhorse projection form and sawhorse form into newman projection form so we have to uh, take this example we have to study this example now the structure of this tartaric acid or the molecular formula of this tartaric acid is uh, like this COOH, uh, COOH, COOH, and COH. It is very simple to uh, remember. Okay. Now, first of all, we will draw the Fischer projection form of this tartaric acid. We know that while drawing the Fischer projection formula, we have to keep the more oxidizable group on the vertical line. Now, here say this COH group and this COH groups are more oxidized group so we'll keep them on the vertical line like this COOH and COOH in between these two there will be two horizontal carbon this represent the stereogenic center now first of all we'll write the erythro form of uh, tartaric acid okay so this H this OH OH, uh, sorry, here is not OH. So H and OH. Okay, now you see here both OH groups are on the same side. Okay, now this Fischer projection is represented in the same way, like this. See, uh, this carbon carbon central carbon carbon bond is in the plane uh, these coh groups are below the plane okay and these are uh, hydrogen and oh groups are on the above the plane this we know that oh okay now to draw its sawhorse projection formula, first of all, we will draw the line which is 45 degree angle to the plane of paper. Now, you see this, these COH and COH groups are on below the plane. So, we will write COOH groups below the plane, okay, in this way. And this OH and this OH on above the plane, okay. So OH on this side, hydrogen on this side. Similarly, hydrogen and OH. Now this is the eclipse, eclipse sawhorse projection. We know this eclipse sawhorse projection. This is Fisher projection. Okay, this is eclipse sawhorse projection. Now, if we have to draw its Newman projection formula, suppose we are observing this molecule from this end. So, this carbon will be the front carbon, this carbon will be the rear carbon. So, front carbon will be represented by dot and rear carbon will be represented by a circle. Now, if this is the front carbon, then this dot represents the first, first carbon. So, we will write the atoms. So, this is COH group and uh, these two, this is OH group and this is hydrogen. Now, you see this rare carbon. So, here also we will draw the in the same way COOH and uh, here will be hydrogen, here will be OH. So, this is also the eclipse. Newman projection okay and if we rotate this by 180 degree suppose uh, fix the first carbon and rotate the rare carbon by 100 and uh, rotating a rare carbon by 180 degree we will get its staggered form so we'll write the staggered form so we are keeping the first carbon uh, constant so 
the atoms on first carbon will not change the position they will be as it is H and OH now this rare carbon has been rotated by 180 degrees so the OH group will be here hydrogen will be here and the COOH group will be here so this is the staggered Newman projection staggered Newman projection so in this way we can convert a Fisher projection formula into a Sawhorse projection formula and Sawhorse projection formula into Newman projection formula and then also we can draw its staggered form by rotating uh, the one of the carbon by 180 degree rotation okay so in this way we have seen how to uh, convert a Fisher projection form into Sawhorse and Sawhorse into Newman projection formula okay so I think this conversion is very easy and you all have understood clearly that how to convert a molecule into uh, one projection formula into another projection formula okay so we'll stop here and we'll meet in the next video with different concept thank you